Hello and welcome back to Phenlogitica. I am Srishti Jain, Chief Product Officer of Ticker and I'll be sharing a series of videos on how to use Ticker to pick great stocks. Ticker is among the first platforms to show banking ratios to users which makes analysis quick and easy. In our previous video, we discussed three important banking ratios, the CASA ratio, the net interest margin ratio and the NPA ratio. Now there are few left which we will discuss it today. We are going to cover net interest income ratio, capital adequacy ratio, cost to income ratio, cost of liabilities ratio and advances growth. So without wasting time, let's open ticker.finlogy.in. Open any banking stock you like. I am opening ICICI bank again. In the company essential section at the top, we can see net interest income. It's around 63,000 crores for ICICI bank. It reflects the bank's core income stream, the difference between what they earn on interest bearing assets that is loans and what they pay on interest bearing liabilities that is deposits. A higher net interest income indicates a bank's ability to generate healthy profits from its core lending activities. While the formula for NII involves subtracting interest expense from interest income, Ticker conveniently provides this pre-calculated value for each bank you analyze. This allows you to focus on understanding how efficiently the banks manage its interest rates and translates them into profits. Also, from this only, net interest margin is calculated, which we discussed in our previous video. Second is Capital Adequacy Ratio, also known as CAR. Imagine this is bank's financial safety net. It measures a bank's ability to absorb financial losses and maintain solvency. The purpose is to establish that banks have enough capital on reserve to handle a certain amount of losses before being at risk for becoming insolvent. You can get data for capital adequacy ratio in the company essential section too. Higher CAR indicates a safer and more secure bank. ICICI has capital adequacy ratio of 18% which is quite good. Also, as per RBI, Indian public sector banks must maintain a capital adequacy ratio of 12%. So ICICI is way above that. In the peers table, you can see all the bank's CAR ratio at the last column. Here we can see that Kotak has the highest capital adequacy ratio. Third is cost to income ratio. Imagine this is bank's operating efficiency. It measures how much a bank spend to generate every rupee of income. A lower cost to income ratio, ideally below 60%, signifies a bank's ability to control its expenses and generate healthy profits. The formula for cost to income ratio involves dividing operating expenses by operating income. However, Ticker does the calculation for you, allowing you to focus on whether the bank is efficiently managing its cost or not. In any banking stocks company essential section in top, you can find cost to income ratio. For ICICI Bank, it's 40.11%, which is considered good. Fourth is cost of liabilities. This reflects the average interest rate a bank pays on its deposits. It's a crucial factor influencing a bank's profitability as lower costs allow for a healthier net interest margin. Watch this video from the link above to know more about NIM. A lower cost of liabilities is generally better. It indicates a bank's efficiency in attracting deposits at competitive rates, allowing them to maintain a wider spread between their lending and borrowing rates. Ticker provides the cost of liabilities data readily available for each bank you analyze in ratio section. This eliminates the need to delve into complex calculations and allows you to focus on whether the bank manages its deposit rates effectively or not. ICICA Bank here has 3.62% as cost of liabilities, meaning it is paying this much interest on average of all its deposits. Fifth is Advances Growth. This metric reflects a bank's loan book growth showing how much they are expanding their loan portfolio. Steady Advances Growth indicates a bank's ability to attract new borrowers and generate new loan income. However, excessively high growth rate can also be a risk factor. In the ratio section in Ticker, you can find this ratio for any bank and compare it with others to find the leader. For ICICI, it's 18.7% which is a good growth rate. Let's compare it with HDFC and Axis. Go to Peer section and open both the banks in New tab. Check their ratio section to find advances growth rate. Here we can see that HDFC has around 17% growth and Axis has 19.4% advances growth. So, in all the three banks, we saw Axis has the highest growth rate. To summarize, we learned about five banking ratios today. 
नेट इंटरेस्ट इनकम रेशियो कैपिटल एडिक्वेसी रेशियो कॉस्ट टू इनकम रेशियो कॉस्ट ऑफ लाइबिलिटीज रेशियो एंड एडवांस ग्रोथ वन शुड एनलाइज देम बाय सीइंग देयर आइडियल रेंज एंड कंपेयरिंग इट विद देयर पीयर्स नेट इंटरेस्ट इनकम इज हायर द बेटर कैपिटल एडिक्वेसी रेशियो इज आल्सो हायर द बेटर एंड शुड बी अबव द रेंज सेट बाय आरबीआई कॉस्ट टू इनकम रेशियो इज लोअर द बेटर एज बैंक्स हैव टू पे लेस टू अर्न कॉस्ट ऑफ लाइबिलिटीज इज आल्सो लोअर द बेटर and advances growth is higher the better understanding the key banking ratios is crucial for making investment decisions in banking stocks remember these ratios are like puzzle pieces you need to analyze them together to get a full picture of bank's profitability and financial health ticker provides all these banking ratios pre calculated for every bank you research focus on interpreting the ratios with other financial data available on ticker to pick great stocks tell us in the comment section which ratios you want us to add more in ticker our team will try to add them soon do like share and subscribe to finlogy ticker for more such videos and don't forget to hit the bell icon too for quick updates thank you